Acadia National Park is one of the most beautiful places in the northeastern United States. There's rolling hills and some of the oldest trees east of the Mississippi River. So how do you make it easy for people to drive through the park on their visit without bulldozing everything? The answer? You don't. Back in the early 20th century, oil tycoon John D. Rockefeller wanted to give his favorite national park a present for being so awesome. 45 miles of carriage roads. What's a carriage road? Well, it's a road for carriages, of course. Rockefeller wanted visitors of Acadia to be able to get around the park motor free, wandering through the mountains and the forests, taking in the scenery and enjoying themselves. So how do you build one of these things? I'm here with my friend, Gail Gladstone, who's a park ranger at Acadia, knows a thing or two about these here carriage roads. So Gail, how are these things built? Well, they are built with three layers of gravel, granite gravel. The first layer called the base is large chunks. The second layer is more medium sized chunks. And those are used to fill in the spaces in the big chunks. And the third layer known as the top course is the finer stuff, tiny one inch dust. And what that does is that fills in those spaces and it kind of, and as it gets wet and used, it locks it all in. Very cool. So where was this rock from? Uh, was it, is it granite from around here? Uh, originally, most of it was probably, was quarried on the island. Most of it probably right nearby. How did they decide the, the kind of the paths that the, that the roads would go along? So there they had um, John D. Rockefeller Jr. who who was vision, this was his dream, his vision was these roads. He had his own set of engineers and road, road foremen who worked for him. And what they would do is they'd come out and cite the route using, you know, survey techniques, figuring out they knew they wanted this view or they knew they wanted to get to the top of this mountain or to go around this mountain. And so using the survey techniques, figuring out the best way to do that. These roads are built mostly on the sides of the mountains and they take you around or they go, in this case, where we're close to Eagle Lake, they go around the lake and uh, yeah. So what are some of the challenges, like uh, engineering wise, of building roads in and around the mountains without trying to disturb too much of the, of the ecosystem? Yeah, so the, one, a big issue on the Mount Desert Island is the water, getting the water from the mountains down to the lakes, which is where the water wants to go. So when you have a carriage road that kind of cuts right through the path of that water on the side of a mountain, you have to get the water under it so that it can get to the lake. If it goes over it, then there's a big chance that you're going to get washed out. Is what, when the water goes over it, you're going to lose all this fine stuff. It's going to get washed away. So along all the roads, you'll see these ditches which collect the water as it comes down the mountain and it runs it into the culverts which go under the road and take it down to the pond. What else did they build? They built bridges okay. and um, back drains. They're part of that infrastructure where it's uh, oftentimes they're stone lined drains that go up the slope a little bit. And what it will do is catch the water as it's coming down the slope and funnel it into one spot on the culvert. A culvert? Yes. Culvert. 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 How, what is that? A culvert Yay. is a pipe that goes under the road. It's the, it's the plumbing of the system, okay. part of the plumbing of the system. And it's just a 18, 18 inch pipe or 24 inch pipe, takes the, collects the water, takes it under the road, out the other side. What are what's some of your favorite ways to enjoy the, the carriage roads? I like biking on the carriage roads. I bet that is a cool way to get around. It's a great way to get around. Well, Gail, thanks for teaching me about these, these <laughs> carriage roads and how they were built. This is great. You're welcome. Want to learn more about our national parks? Then hit that subscribe button, friend. Stay up to date and catch bonus features by following us on Instagram, at Outsider.